بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم Mr. Chairman, distinguished panel, distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and a very good morning to all of you. My sincere apologies for being a bit late, and I was not able to participate in the very opening remarks, uh, <clears throat> which I wanted to be here, but unfortunately, as you know, some of us have to travel not too far away from London, but even coming out about 20, 30 miles and falling through the British Rail system. Uh, day before yesterday, we had the floods and the storms. I wasn't too sure what was it, perhaps to be the sunshine early in the morning that blocked the trains coming in. However, uh, it's a pleasure being here this morning and particularly in the company of such distinguished panel. Um, and more so because of the relevant subject matter which is under discussion um, in this important seminar. It is very appropriate for me to express our appreciation and thanks to the Islamic Foundation and the Markfield um, uh, Institute for organizing this seminar. Um, it's a timely moment. Uh, the issues that have been, I'm sure, raised in the last two days and this morning are very relevant for all of us, and particularly so because of the need for us to address the current crisis and able to find, hopefully, some solutions um, towards this particular mess that the global economy is under. The task before me was to <clears throat> deal with the Islamic finance in Britain. But having heard from our uh, very distinguished uh, guest um, and the speaker, uh, Mark Hoban, he gives some introduction on how far we have dealt with Islamic finance in the UK. But as I was traveling and coming through Whitechapel, it reminded me of a few years back, perhaps a decade back, late 1990s, early 2001, when um, I think a few hundred yards from here, an important seminar was organized by the Citizen Organizing Foundation. And I think at that time, Eddie George was just appointed as the Governor of Bank of England. And the subject matter was the disappearance of the banks around the town. And, um, and of course, the local communities were being affected. And at that time, I had the opportunity to just to interact with him and raise the issue of Islamic finance. Fortunately, and went to a surprise, the person had some knowledge and understanding what Islamic finance was all about. Because of course in the community that we live in, there's a large section of the Muslim community. And um, as much as over the last four to five decades, <coughs> the subject matter of Islamic finance has been discussed within the communities, within the financial sector, there had not been any clear way of taking up to the government. So one of our committees at that time in the Muslim Council of Britain, felt it is crucial that this subject should be brought formally with the cabinet. And um, at that time, we had uh, two distinguished um, colleagues in the industry and in finance, um, I'm sure familiar names, uh, Iqbal Khan, a banker, a distinguished banker, and Iqbal Asari, an economist. <coughs> and we had the first meeting at that time with the bank. And of course, Eddie George was very positive and said, let's explore and look at what needs to be done. It's an area, and at that time, of course, we didn't have the financial crisis, and neither did we anticipate that what we would be expecting the next uh, decade or so. But the very fact that the subject matter dealt with ethical finance, that it would help sections of the community, it would attract people who are more concerned with issues of equity, balance, fairness, that would be the key point. And of course, at that time, whilst we were looking at the needs of the Muslim community, but I think the key point that this was an area that could benefit the society at large. Therefore, that little bit of background, I think, gives me a fair bit of comfort that today, alhamdulillah, after more than sort of 10 to 12 years, we see the subject matter being discussed in such an open manner. And organizations like the Islamic Foundation, have been promoting and bringing greater awareness to this key subject. 